Happy World AIDS Day, everybody! You excited? So me and Jared are dressed up for date night in celebration of World AIDS Day and to celebrate we're going to do what a lot of couples like to do in their spare time which is get tested for sexually transmitted infections. Um, this is the first time that we're ever doing this together though yeah. at home and we're only able to do this thanks to a company called Get Tested who is coming to us in partnership on this video. Now Get Tested helps make the whole experience more private and more convenient by letting you do the STI checks at home, checking for chlamydia, trike, gonorrhea, herpes simplex virus 2, of course HIV, syphilis, is that everything? Don't you forget about me. So the way that the kit works is that there's one for females and one for males. So for the female test, I have a swab and I have blood collection. For the male, um, I got a urine and a blood test. Wash yeah. your hands with warm water for 30 seconds. Shake hands to get the blood flowing. We just wash though. We shake. Am I left-handed or right-handed? Do you know? You're left-handed. Really? Uh, huh? You think I'm left-handed? Uh, you write weird. Oh, it's blood time, baby. You ready? Twist cap off. Oh, you gotta just press it. The needle will come out. Ah, you go first. No, same time. Dude, I'm nah. scared. Did it do it? <laughs> You're scared. <of> me. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why can't we just do it? Okay, let's go. So they come with little band-aids in the package too. So Ironically, the pricking didn't hurt that bad. It's not a competition, uh, but if it were, who killed that shit? Jared, Jared has little fairy pixie blood. No. And I, I bleed like an ox. So we're doing, I'm doing a swab collection test and you're doing a swab collection test. No, you're doing a urine test. Because we're not sure about Jared's aim though, we have a little fail safe. Cause Lord knows I will not have the cowhide being pissed on. Where are you going? I need more water. You ready? You getting stage fright? In. Insert. Push, push. And now I am packaging this away to be sent off to the lab. And I'm finished. Just like that, guys. And now Jared pees into a bottle. I don't know, I don't know if I can. You can do it. I believe in you. Should I turn it down? No. I love watching you pee. Get out of here. I do. I can't do it. It's so fascinating. Please, stop watching. Stop, <laughs> I can't do it. Try. I love you. Okay, so while Jared's gone to go pee, to recap, we did the blood test first, and this has been sitting now out for 10 minutes. What we're gonna do is you're gonna take the card here, and then as instructed, without touching, you're gonna tuck it right there, like so. I'm gonna take Jared's in the bag. Good job. So you wanna syringe up until the second point. So you wanna get enough pee to get to there. Oh, it's warm. It is over. It was easy. What, what part of that was easy? You struggled to bleed and you struggled to pee. Do you have any reason to believe that these results will come back different than the ones you had three months ago? Like, have you had a sexual experience, a sexual encounter in that time? No. This should be the same. The only person I had sex with was Shannon. So, unless... Excellent sex. At that. Unless you... Yeah, no. And no. you just got tested in October. Have you ever gotten a sexually transmitted infection before? I'm gonna put her business out here, but she got... A, a woman that I was with had gotten um, a UTI. You know, I've had chlamydia before. Mm -hmm. I was tested positive for that in 2000... I'm gonna say 2013. Mm -hmm. um, and then I was treated, like, immediately for it. Yeah. It sucks. It, it does suck. I mean, it didn't suck. My actual experience, the thing with chlamydia, is that 
between 50 and 90% of women who have it have zero symptoms at all, which is a scary thing. And now every single time I go to get tested, I have to check that box, yes. Um, really? Mm -hmm. We don't have that check. Well, they ask you, don't they ask, have you ever tested positive? Yeah, I think they ask you, but I don't, I, there's no box or anything. Like, we just, whenever I got tested, it was like, I got in there and I was, they're like, so what are you here for today? And I was like, I want to get tested for STDs. So which ones is it specific any, or is there one that you had before? My thing I always was like, I want to get tested for all of them. And they're like, well, that's going to be an extra charge. <laughs> What I liked about this is that it does everything one time for you. Yeah. It is just that. You don't have to ask for that. Yeah. Um, and you can do it at home and they give you backups for everything. So if you mess it up because you're not a doctor for some reason, there is like an extra swab you can use. Yeah. For people who do this exercise and the results don't come back as expected, do, well, you, do you think it would adjust or drastically change your relationship or just be something that you guys kind of tackle together? The, the problem is, is that with these tests, it's so hard to pinpoint who gave what and where it came from, especially we both, because I'm pretty sure whatever we both, whatever comes positive is gonna be on both. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be on just one. Let's handle it and let's move forward and how, what, what are we gonna do in this dynamic to help make sure this is good? Mm -hmm. You know, make sure that we're still on track and you know, what, what, is your trust broken? Is my trust broken? What do we fix it? That's the thing is like you are really on it and it's not like you have a really adventurous sex life. Like who instilled in you the importance of getting tested? You know, growing up in the church, like even if I had sex one time, it was like God's gonna punish me. So I had sex one time. Have you seen the movie Kids? Yeah. So, you know, where I'm at is like, God's gonna punish me. <laughs> really? So when that? I used to go get tested, it was because I was like expecting to have something. Mm. And as you've gotten older, you just do it now out of habit? Um, I mean, I haven't got tested in the last, what, three months, four months? That's like pretty, most people have, some people haven't gotten tested. They say one in three Americans have not been tested in the past like year or two years. That's scary. You need to get tested every three months. And the great thing is that it comes in like a really discreet box too. Like you remember how it came? Yeah, it came like a normal package. I told Jared um, when it was on the counter, I was like, I got, I got us some gifts. And then we opened it slowly. And then I waited until he did all the unboxing. And then he saw this and I was like, it's testing. It's not scary for me. It's, <laughs> it's not, it, it, I have nothing to hide. How important is safe sex for you? Safe sex is insanely important for me. I think it's more important for than ever, obviously, as I've just become aware through brands like Get Test Street, my Trojan sponsorship, just how prevalent uh, these things are that are out there. Your health matters to me. Yeah. Like, I would never want to do anything to jeopardize you long term. And if we're making the decision, it's because we're doing it together, both having all the facts and information. Okay, baby, final words. We're about to go mail this off and get the peace of mind that we both deserve. But throughout this whole process, because I kind of dragged you into this whole thing with me for World AIDS Day, it's for a great cause. Um, what did you learn? Um, I thought it was a crazy fact that there was 20 million new cases every year. Mm. And that's insane. And then even crazier that 50% of Americans are gonna get an STD before yeah. they die. So everyone that's out there right now, go ahead and go down to gettested.com and get yourself one of these. And get tested. Happy World AIDS Day! <laughs> Hi there lovers and friends! And if we're not lovers or friends then, <laughs> why are you here? As fellow sexual health advocates, it's so important to me that you guys are the example that helps to lead your communities. And so I want you to get tested and I want you to do it for free. So I wanna give away one Get Tested kit worth $199 and all you have to do to win is spread the message, which you were gonna do anyways, right? For complete contest rules and to find out more about the Get Tested kit, go down, sure. It's not as sexy as you thought, is it?